Shalom. Giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Peace and blessings to the elect worldwide that believe in his truth. Uh, this is another um, edition of a GMS Bible word search. Um, I was doing a lot of meditating. Um, and, and a certain word came into my mind. And I decided to do a, um, a word search for it. And that word was passion. Uh, I was I was uh, listening to some videos last night, and you know just just um, you know just meditating on on how you can can um, you know any time of the day or night have brothers um, give edification and teach and and, and you know, like no matter what time of day or night, like I said, uh, uh, two, three o'clock in the morning, all right, uh, or one or two in the afternoon, or seven in the evening, okay, there's constant um, videos being put up. And I mean GMS, Great Millstone. You can always hear Great Millstone um, teachings, okay? Um, and there's constantly, and, and there's constantly, uh, videos, Great Millstone videos being put up day and night. And, you know, just listening to 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 these different videos, man, and being edified, you know, I was thinking about the fact that in order to do that, you have to have a passion for this truth. You have to have a, a, a fervor, a spirit for this truth, and you have to have a love for it. The Most High and the Son, Yahweh by Hashem Shai, in order to be able to constantly um, do this work, all right, and glorify the Most High, you, you have to have a passion. So I looked that word up, passion. All right, um, if I can go back real quick. I I I looked at that word up in the scriptures, you know, and um, you know, because I. I want to know what it meant. I want to know what it meant um, according to scripture, right? So, as you can see here, I looked the word up, passion. And there's only one scripture that comes up. And this is uh, in Acts, the first chapter. All right, so let's go to the Acts, the first chapter, um, starting at the third verse. But I'm going to read at the, uh, the first verse. I'm going to start at the first verse. And then I'm going to read into the third verse. And I'm going to get into that word, passion. Alright? Uh, this is Acts 1 and 1. The former treaties have I made, O Theophilus, of all that Yahweh began both to do and teach, until the day in which he was taken up, after that he through the Holy Spirit had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen. So this is basically uh, that former treaties, um, I believe that this is Luke. Okay, and the former treaties that he had wrote pertaining to Yahweh Shai about him teaching and him being taken up and um, giving his commandments to the apostles, that was the book of Luke. All right, so he gave that uh, that that chronology and that history of um, Yahweh Shai's ministry when he was on the earth. Okay, uh, verse three, it says to him also he had showed himself alive after his passion. Okay, because we use that word a lot in this truth, being passionate, being um, um, in a, a fervent, loving spirit for the truth. Okay, so Yahweh Shai himself had a passion. Okay, matter of fact, there's a movie that came out uh, years ago called The Passion of the Christ. Okay, so let's see what, what that passion is. All right. So it says to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs, meaning uh, unbreakable. OK, uh, being seen of them 40 days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of the most high. So afterwards, after he had after he had, um, um, had died, he had rose. Okay, before he was taken up in the chariot, he was with the apostles for 40 days. 
okay but let's let's get into this word passion all right because this is um you know and it's truth that's a very um that's a important word that's a word that we need to understand you have to understand what passion is truly if you're uh, a man of the Lord and a part of the hopeful elect so uh, that word passion is a is a pashko okay which is g3958 in the Greek okay so look the word up pashko right and it means uh, to be affected or have been affected to feel have a sensible experience to undergo in a good sense to be well off in good case in a bad sense to suffer badly being a bad plight of a sick person all right and when you look up here in the different translations it translates into suffering suffer to be vexed all right passion with or feel okay so a uh, 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 passion is a certain affection that you get a certain feeling that you get these certain experiences but in most cases you're going to suffer okay uh, Strong's definition it says apparently a primary verb to experience a sensation or Im impression a uh, feel passion suffer vex okay and we know that Yahweh Shai suffered we know that the ancient prophets suffered and we in this truth today alright we're suffering and we're vexed okay um let me get a precept real quick uh in the book of uh ecclesiastes uh the first chapter okay ecclesiastes chapter one and um uh, Start at verse 17 it says and I gave my heart to know wisdom and to know madness and folly I perceive that this also is vexation of spirit and this is a uh, King Solomon the preacher okay understanding wisdom to, under to understand madness folly foolishness especially the ridiculousness of this so uh, society in America that brings vexation okay that brings a certain uh, uh, um, experience and passion to your spirit verse 18 for in much wisdom is much grief and he that increases knowledge increases sorrow all right and that's a, a, a mind state a constant mind state and the constant uh, experience that we go through and it's true all right um, <clears throat> so I looked up the word passion in the dictionary okay uh, dictionary.com and it, it means uh, this is a passion any powerful or compelling emotion or feeling as love or hate strong or more feeling or desire love or ardor and that's what brothers have they have a we have a, um, a strong desire and love for this truth which is why we do the videos but there's a deeper meaning to this word passion okay um, uh, let me see um, number six a strong or extravagant fondness enthusiasm or desire for anything all right now let's go into the origin of passion okay uh, from the Middle English stem of uh, Paseo, uh I'm gonna say uh, it says Christ but I'm gonna say Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai sufferings on the cross just like in the movie the passion of the Christ all right that passion went into a suffering if you if you have a passion and desire you're gonna suffer okay it says any of the biblical accounts of these special use of late Latin passio suffering submission right submitting to the will of the Most High um, from Latin passes past participle of Pattaya to suffer submit Okay. Synonyms: Ferber, 
fervor, zeal, ardor, ire, fury, wrath, rage. Okay, feeling. All right. But it it um. You know it goes into um. Uh, what what Yahweh Shai endured, man. Passion. It says uh, the sufferings of Yahweh Shai from the Last Supper to his death on the cross. Any of the four gospel accounts of this. This is what Luke meant. And, and when you go back to Acts the first chapter. Right. When you go back to Acts the first chapter. Um, Acts 1 and 1. It says the former treaties have I made O Theophilus. Of all that Yahweh Shai be began both to do and teach. Until the day in which he was taken up. After that he through the Holy Spirit. Had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen. To whom also he showed himself alive after his passion. What was that passion? That was his suffering. Okay. That was his suffering. Alright. So going back to this uh, definition here. Uh, word and origin in history for passion. It says, uh, Sufferings of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai on the cross. From old French, passion. Yahweh Shai's passion, physical suffering. From late Latin, passion known him. Or uh, passion him, excuse me. Uh, suffering, enduring. Scripture says, He that endureth until the end, the same shall be saved. To suffer, endure. To hurt. Revile, scorns. That's what we go through. So the suffering and the, and, and all the the scorning and the the uh, reviling and, the, and 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 the scoffing and mocking that we catch, that's that's um that's a part of the passion that we have to go through the same as how was shy have to had to go through, okay? Suffering, misery, woe. Okay. Old English enemy, devil to blame. It says, since extended to suffering of martyrs and suffering generally. Uh, by early 13th century, meaning strong emotion, desire. Okay. Is attested from late Latin use of patio to render Greek pathos. Uh, replace Old English polong. Uh, patch, uh, literally suffering to endure. Okay. Suffering or enduring. Okay. And that's what we must do. That, that's our passion. Yahweh Shai's passion came through his suffering on the cross. Okay? That's where Yahweh Shai's passion came in at. Alright? Through his um, through his suffering on the cross. Alright? Okay? That passion, man. The sufferings of Yahweh Shai from the Last Supper or that Passover service, really. All right. To his death on the cross. That was his passion. That's what he, that was his suffering. He had to endure that. And right now, we're in our passion. Okay. As men of the Lord, our suffering. As you, uh, as I read here in um, Ecclesiastes, the first chapter. Okay. It says, for in much wisdom is much grief, and he that increases knowledge increases sorrow. Okay? Um, so going back to Acts 1 and 3, it says, to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion. Okay? And um, like I said, I looked up that word in the Greek. All right, Pashko. Pasco, which uh, means to suffer or be vexed, all right. And we suffer and we are vexed in this truth, okay. You know. But like the scriptures say, which is the last scripture I'm I'm going to get, uh, Matthew the twenty fourth chapter, all right. I believe around around the fourteenth verse, uh, Matthew twenty four. Uh, 13 excuse me Matthew 24 and 13 it says but he that shall endure unto the end endure what the suffering the the, the, the passion okay 
that's the true essence of the word to, to, uh, to suffer okay until the end the same shall be saved uh, I said one more scripture but let me go to Romans the ninth chapter alright this is uh, Romans I believe it's in Romans 9 I'll just do a search for it. <clears throat> Matter of fact, uh, well, this is a good one. But, um, uh, it's not exactly what I wanted. First Peter four, this might be it. Let me read it. Bear with me. Just going through the spirit. Ah, uh, this is what I was looking for. Okay. Second Timothy the third chapter. All right. You know, but you you you're gonna have to suffer. This is uh Second Timothy chapter three, verse twelve. Excuse me. It says, "Yea, and all that will live godly in Yahushai shall suffer persecution." Okay. All right. And I had the scripture earlier, and I'm gonna pull that out too. Okay, but understand that we're going to go through certain sufferings. We're going to go through a certain passion, and it's truth. Okay, this is uh First Peter four and sixteen. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, all right, as 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 a man of the Lord, a Hebrew Israelite, and it's truth, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify the Most High on this behalf. Okay. So you know just um. Just remember the 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 Lord. He went through His passion, man. He went through His suffering. We have to go through the same thing, and that takes passion. That takes that takes a, a, a um that takes a certain zeal you gotta have, man. You know. But I just wanted to go a little bit deeper into that word passion. Um. You know, it's it, it's it's not just it's not just um. Um, you know, it is a strong, exa uh, uh, ex ex extravagant, fun, and enthusiasm that you have a desire, but it's deeper than that. It's a lot deeper than 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 um just um just um you know having enthusiasm for the truth. Okay, understand that we're going to suffer and we're going to go through certain things that will vex us in this truth, and we have to be ready to endure that. As the scriptures say, he that endures until the end shall be saved. So with that, I'm going to end it there. Um, all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Um, peace and blessings to the elect as always. And Lord willing, I see you on the next lesson. Shalom.